Although it is a new company, you know, they've only been going a year, 18 months, something like that. We've known these guys, this, this actual team, the personnel for many, many years. So they've all got lots and lots of experience on Mazax. They're, they're well versed in the quality of a Mazak machine and the support that comes with a Mazak machine. Um, why did they go for these particular machines? Well, they, they're a general subcontractor. They don't really know what's coming through the door next, so they like versatility, or most subcontractors do. And the versatility of a lathe and a milling machine, especially a five-axis machine, which was the first two that they bought off us, um, really give them a good starting point. And very quickly, they've uh, now required something a little bit different. And a little bit different is an Integrex i300. Gavin, some companies over the last 18 months or two years have kind of been battening down the hatches and worrying about what's going on around the world. That doesn't seem to be happening here at Peregrine, does it? No, it's, uh, it's been a very strange 12 months for us. Um, you know, we opened this facility September last year um, in a global pandemic, in a global recession. Uh, we did question our sanity at times. Um, we started with a Mazak 5-axis mill and we got the quick turn Mazak. What we found very quickly, we went from zero customers to a customer queue. So now is time to invest in the next machine, take the risk, um, hoping, fingers crossed, that UK manufacturing bounces back. One of the advantages we've got is many of us here are from the F1 world, so we've got a lot of contacts that have helped the business get going. Um, we offer an amazing quality, the same standard you'd expect from an F1 supplier and F1 team. Our guys do a fantastic job. Um, we've also branched out as, you know, as well as CNC machining, we do electronics, we do a lot of wiring systems for cars as well. We do a lot of foam CNC machine products as well. We've got a facility in Buxton that will work to do packaging systems, whether it's for tooling, whether it's for e-motors. Um, so we've sort of, we're not just a CNC machine shop, but this is the biggest part of the business uh, we're focused on currently. But, but why Mazak? Gavin, what, what was the reason behind that selection? In, in our opinion, they're the Rolls-Royce machines, and we've got the Hypermill, the Open Minds Hypermill software with them. Um, we're sort of fairly confident with these two. We get a quality, I mean, we, we, we have customers that will look at a part that they've had made somewhere else, we'll make them one, and I can't say the words they use, but they're, they're absolutely amazed at the quality difference. The machines are fantastic, the software's fantastic, but actually it's the guy using it. We do a lot of reverse engineering for historic motorsport, and it always comes down to, at the end, the guys who run the machines talking with the Hypermill software um, designer to make sure we get the best finish, the best quality part we can. The, the CV500 is a fantastic machine. The first couple of months we had it, we didn't have the full five axis software, and we were a little bit limited on the use of it. Um, we then upgraded to the full five axis software um, as funds allowed on our investment. And now that machine is absolutely, it's fantastic what we've been able to do with it since we've had the Hypermill. And what will this new Integrex do for you here then, Gavin? It will get rid of the enormous queue of orders we had last year throughout the winter. Um, it frees us up a lot. This obviously setup times are reduced with the Integrex. We've got the ability to five axis on the Integrex as well. Um, the, the main thing was to reduce the, the queue for customers waiting for parts. Um, you know, we, we, we want to be able to take an order. And one of the latest things is we always want to give a delivery date, not just, okay, we're going to try and slot it in. We will, we will agree a date. At the moment with the one machine turning, we were really limited. I would say last winter, 70% of the work was turning. So we were running that machine day and night. We think we've got enough work this winter to run that machine day and night as well. So we need to either get another Mazak quick turn or just go the whole hog, get the Integrex and um, you know the possibilities become endless really on what we can and can't achieve. And you went for the Integrex? Yeah. <laughs> and it's scary, it's exciting, but it's, I, think we're all, I think all the directors are a little bit scared, especially seeing the size of it this morning coming in through the door, just fitting in. And if, if I'm honest, we, we had wobble moments at times where we think, do we, do we, should we just stick with the two machines we got and just work day and night, seven days a week and try? But we know to, to continue expanding, we need the more increased technology, 
we need more machinery, we need more manpower. Um, you know, when, when this, this facility set up on day one, there was two of us. I think there's now nine of us in the building. Um, so we're expanding, we're trying to take on the local guys. Everyone's local, we try and use local suppliers as well when we can. Um, it's all heading in the right direction for us. Uh, but you know, I, I, don't know, I don't know what next year we'll, we'll bring in, but you've got to keep your fingers crossed and uh, you've got to expand. So we'll see. Maybe you'll do a video next year. We, we not only just install the machines, we, we stand next to people and make sure their machines are up, up and running as short as possible time. Um, and that's just given them the ability to take the next step and go from integrates.